Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm Asha and I'll be your instructor during this course on Sipes IFC Builder software program. IFC Builder is a free to download building modeling software for the use in conjunction with the Open BIM workflow. The program utilizes an IFC format to integrate your design into the BIM Service Center hub. The BIM Service Center is where um, I need you guys to, to start um, to, to begin this journey. Now uh, head over to bimserver.center on your browser and uh, uh, choose English and also head to uh, the login page on the top right hand corner here. Then once you're here, if you don't have an account, you need to register as such, name, email, you receive a confirmation email, confirm, and then you'll be able to log in uh, from here. I'm gonna log in now. If you already have an account, um, please log in. Right, so once you're in there, um, this is our uh, this is our homepage right here, uh, where it pretty much uh, gives a condensed view of um, our tabs over here. So different projects we have, the contacts, uh, recommended projects, um, uh, professional certificates that we're able to acquire for our for our models, and the store. And this is where we'll be um, heading right now. Once we're in the store, we're looking for IFC Builder. And uh, it's the most downloaded uh, application on the BIM Service Center, so it's not too hard to find. Um, if you do struggle to find it, it's under 3D Design, or you could search for it uh, in this uh, uh, in this uh, here. Uh, so what? So let's let's go into IFC Builder. Um, bear in mind, it's compatible with Windows 7, 8, and 10 only. Um, it's offered in Catalan, English, French, Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish. Um, but I'm assuming if you're watching this course, then you're familiar with English. So we'll um, we'll have an option to install the English version once we're downloaded the zip file. Now I'm going to download. And um, now while my zip file downloads, I wanted to touch on what the OpenBIM workflow actually entails. Now, OpenBIM is a universal approach to the collaborative design, realization of buildings based on open standards and workflows. And how does the IFC builder fit into this picture is the real question. Uh, let's have a look. I have this diagram here, um, and this actually condenses the workflow quite, uh, quite well. Um, now, a physical 3D model is generated in IFC Builder or any other design software, such as uh, ArchiCAD, uh, Revit, Allplan, and and many other uh, numerous other uh, softwares that, that that serve that purpose. Now that model is synchronized with the um, OpenBIM synchronizer, which is also present in this download along with IFC Builder, um, and we'll be installing that as well. Um, into the BIM Service Center and is ready to be used in the workflow. Now, because we have a physical 3D model on the server, all applications are able to recognize the model and you are then able to start working on it. So let's uh, let's explain. The physical 3D model um, is a uh, is a uh, just a design, um, uh, strictly a design, a design tool, right? We we can we can we can design our structure. Uh, using the most fundamental aspects of a, of, of a structure, namely um, columns, walls, slabs, um, windows, openings, th this sort of thing. Um, we're just defining what a single thing is, and we're also able to define, define different spaces, and we'll get through that a bit later once we start uh, getting into the software. Now, once we have that physical 3D model, we're able to synchronize it into the BIM Server Center and um, and create a project within BIM Server Center. And we'll and I'm going to show an example of a project in just one moment. And so, once we have that in the BIM Server Center, it's in IFC format. And now, all other specialized applications that deal with a certain aspect of a building, uh, such as um, uh, so, for instance, a civil engineer can use Strabeam, the Strabeam analysis tool, um, uh, to create a structural model and uh, and um, perform calculations on the structural integrity of the model, of the 3D, uh, of the uh, building, right. Um, whereas a sound engineer can use Acrobat BIM to model, analyze, and verify the sound insulation and proofing in the model. Right, so how it all works, we have a 3D model, 
it gets uh, the architectural model is uh, saved onto the BIM server center. And now then uh, these specialized applications are able to recognize uh, this, um, uh, this structure, this 3D model, and then you are able to amend it and create different layers on top of it. And these layers are specific to a certain thing. So as I said before, we could have a layer that uh, defines the uh, straw beams of the of the structure. Then we have another layer that defines the sound parameters, the uh, the uh, uh, let's say the uh, the composition of the materials within the project. Um, and these specialized applications are also able to generate technical documents. Right, so uh, specifications of materials uh, or, 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 or whatever, alignments, cost estimating um, in your project, different drawings that are, that are imperative uh, to a project, um, schematic diagrams as well, and reports. Reports can also be generated. And these reports are incorporated into the BIM, into the BIM model. So uh, all our technical documentation is in one place for multiple different aspects of uh, the building. Right. Uh, so to clarify, the building is modeled on a design software that is able to export the design in an IFC format to the BIM Service Center. Then all specialized applications are able to recognize the design and hence one is able to create their own model in conjunction with design. So, um, yeah, uh, it's OK if this doesn't make sense. Um, the best way to learn is to actually do and actually see how this works. And we'll be getting right into that uh, in, in no time. Um, but quickly, I wanted to uh, just touch on the implications of this model. Uh, this particular workflow invites project members to work simultaneously on the project. So you can have um, someone doing the HVAC and someone doing the lighting design at the same time on the same 3D model, right? Different specialists working together at the same time. Um, uh, ultimately, there's less need for rework as everyone in the project is able to view the current most version of the product of the project, sorry, not product. Uh, well, it could be a product, but yeah, the project. Uh, in the days before BIM, actually, uh, getting a global view of a project proved difficult. With thousands of unconnected technical documents in play, sometimes it took years for, for, for design teams to see the forest for the trees. Um, by pulling all of the project documents into a single view, BIM enables teams to collaborate and communicate more effectively. All right, guys, I hope you've had a better understanding. And this is why BIM workflow um, uh, really is a, uh, it's, it, it, it's so easy to understand once you, uh, once we get into it. Um, okay, so um, hopefully your download has finished now. I'm going to open it right now and extract it here. Now, once that extraction's been done, completed I'm going to choose the installation in English within and I'm going to install both these both these programs now as I mentioned the BIM service center synchronizer which is the uh, the, the 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 program that uh, is able to the program that forms a connection between uh, your desktop computer and your local and your local directory the cloud the BIM service center and also the IFC builder program okay um, now um, I want you guys to install both uh, both of those uh, programs, and then once once that's been done, um, let's open up the synchronizer. And with the same login that you created uh, to get into the BIM Service Center on your browser, I need you to um, uh, add the BIM Service Center account here into the synchronizer. So uh, you can also register here if you if you haven't. And uh, let's let's do that now. I'm going to do that right now. Now, once I'm in, it's going to ask me whether uh, I want to synchronize my projects. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to uh, 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 unselect all and I'm going to only, oh, actually, why not? I'm just going to synchronize all. Select all. Why not? We've got time. Okay. And now what's what's actually happening is it's taking the projects that I that, that are present in my account that I've, uh, that I've started, right? As you can see, they're all my projects. Um, or that I'm a part of, sorry, not that I've started, but the projects that I'm a part of. And um, 
uh, it's synchronizing it to my local file and also synchronizing it to uh, IFC Builder once we connect it. Okay, so once you've done that, if you've just created an account, you won't see any uh, you won't see any projects here, but that's fine. Uh, let's minimize that. That works in the background as we open up um, as we work with IFC Builder, and let's open IFC Builder as well. All right, guys. Um, now, now once we're into IFC Builder, um, I need you guys to uh, log in now. Uh, just over here, there's a. Uh, now, this is the connection that we're making with the uh, BIM Service Center as well. As you can see now, there's been three points of uh, uh, three connections made, um, and now we're now we're fully ready to um, to uh, make use of the workflow. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be going through in the next video. Uh, what I wanted to touch on was actually a a, a project a project that we have, um, and so just so you can envision. Uh, Maybe stimulate um, stimulate your vision of uh, creating your own project once um, once we get into it. Um, okay, uh, da, 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 da. let's. Um, what can we do? Okay, let's 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 look at this one. Now this is the Crown Hall. This is actually a uh, uh, this is a uh, this is actually a building in. Um, I think it's in uh, it's in America somewhere, um, but anyway, um, let's uh, let's see it. So now this is the uh, project dashboard. Um, we're able to from the dashboard look at the different warnings that we have, the requirements, the pending requirements, and the issues in the project, um, the activity, um, the different uh, programs that were used within uh, the different software that was used within the uh, project. And also we're able to view the files. So the files uh, we have, uh, as I said, multiple different files for uh, multiple different aspects of the building. Um, the work team and the latest changes as well. Um, let's, uh, let's, get a, let's get a better look. This is our 3D design viewer. And from here, I'm able to uh, make the uh, architectural model um, transparent and uh, I can I can now um, I can now view the structure if I want to and now this this was done using a structural program that we have um, and I can view the furniture as well this was as you can see this was actually created in our furniture um, uh, let me see, what was it? The Open BIM Residential Furniture uh, Program. So um, uh, these, um, this, uh, this project used multiple different, uh, multiple different programs in order to uh, uh, mesh, mesh together and deliver this, uh, this close to finished project. Um, and then we have multiple, multiple other different layers uh, that, that we can view. Um, but this is uh, this is basically uh, how it, uh, how fundamentally how it works. Um, in this course, we're just designing uh, the architectural model, which is uh, uh, this section here. Uh, sorry, this uh, 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 it will look like this. Uh, so as you can see, openings. Um, slabs, walls, uh, and um, columns, and things of that nature as well. Okay, so um, I hope um, hope you've sort of uh, got a little taste of what the BIM Service Center uh, and Open BIM Workflow can produce for your uh, for your own projects, and also for a bit of fun as well. It's it's uh, um, I thoroughly enjoy uh, creating different buildings and. Um, uh, just different plans and ideas that I have, and you can really let your imagination run wild uh, in IFC Builder. All right, guys, I hope you've got a better understanding, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video where we'll go right into IFC Builder, and we can start uh, we can start actually making our projects and learning how to use it. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.